Good morning, everybody. My name is Daniel Pello, coming to you here from First Presbyterian Church in Covington, Virginia. Starting out on this Wednesday in the first week of Advent with a scripture reading from Isaiah chapter 25, verse 7 through 8. He will destroy on this mountain the shroud that is cast over all peoples, the sheet that is spread over all nations. He will swallow up death forever. Then the Lord God will wipe away the tears from all faces. That is our scripture reading this morning. If you will, please join me now for a uh, reading together by Henry Nowen from uh, The Lord is Near. The expectation of Advent is anchored in the event of God's incarnation. The more I come in touch with what happened in the past, the more I come in touch with what is to come. The gospel not only reminds me of what took place, but also of what will take place. In the contemplation of Christ's first coming, I can discover the signs of his second coming. By looking back in meditation, I can look forward in expectation. By reflection, I can project by conserving the memory of Christ's birth. I can progress to the fulfillment of his kingdom. I am struck by the fact that the prophets speaking about the future of Israel always kept reminding their people of God's great works in the past. They could look forward with confidence because they could look backward with awe to the great deeds. All this seems extremely important in a time in which our sense of history is so weak. Without anchors in its early promises and aspirations, a nation is in danger of drifting and losing direction. And not only a nation, but the church as well. It seems that progress is always connected with a refreshing of our collective memory. I pray that Advent will offer me the opportunity to deepen my memory of God's great deeds and time and will set me free to look forward with courage to the fulfillment of time by him who came and is still to come. That is a reading by Henry Nowen again. Uh, if you will, please uh, join me now for a very short time together today in prayer. Let us now pray together. Dear Lord, this Advent, please mold our hearts in preparation for your return. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Thank you all for joining me here this morning. Hope to see you here tomorrow at 8 a.m. I hope you all have a great day today.